Bronny James made his G League debut, and it was our first real look at him with extended minutes. The excitement was there. Lakers team members, fans, and coach JJ all showed up to see what he could bring to the South Bay Lakers. Right out of the gate, Bronny locked in on defense, showing that grit on the floor. A few possessions later, he opened up the scoring for South Bay. A smooth fadeaway mid-range jumper that looked effortless, setting the tone early. The three-pointer wasn't dropping just yet, but when he attacked the basket, he dished a perfect dime to the big man inside. It was starting to look like it was going to be Bronny's night. Even on defense, he was locked in, picking up a clean steal. James, the theft, three on. But beyond the arc, the shots just weren't falling. And as the game went on, it became clear Bronny was focusing more on facilitating. He was setting up teammates, driving into the paint to draw defenders. But with this being the G League, expectations were high for Bronny to put up more points. He had a few early chances, like a clean cut in the first quarter, where he fumbled the ball and a drive where he missed a wide open layup. Those small missed opportunities added up, and it seemed like he was still adjusting to the pace and physicality of the game. However, on defense, it was a different story. Bronny was clamping down on every guard he marked, applying relentless pressure and making every possession difficult. His hustle and defensive IQ were on full display, and he turned that energy into fast breaks and his facilitating skills. James, over his head to Kelly the lob. By the end of the first quarter, Bronny sat at four points and two assists, with three quarters left to go. Fans were hoping to see him take a few more scoring opportunities, getting a bit more assertive on offense. But on defense, he continued to excel. Maybe a little bit too tall for the city. Ball underneath, that one rejected. In a tough two-on-one situation, Bronny came through, showcasing his defensive instincts and timing. He even tried to put that 210 pounds to work in the post. He drew the foul, but you could tell the post-up game isn't quite his comfort zone yet, so he shifted back to his strengths. He found the big man with a slick pass, keeping the offense flowing and showing that Bronny's got a natural feel for the game, even when he's not scoring. Bronny added another two points with a smooth floater, but spoiler alert, that was the last time he scored in this game. In the second half, he struggled to find his rhythm. His handles got a bit loose, his finishing at the rim turned sloppy, and he seemed just a bit too predictable. But it's important to keep expectations realistic. Bronny's recent performances have been mixed, and even back in college, his play was solid, but didn't showcase anything extraordinary. Where he truly shone in this game was on defense, showing smart positioning and quick hands to grab some impressive steals. But as the minutes ticked on, his game fitness showed up as an issue. You could see the lack of rhythm, and the play got a bit sloppy toward the end. He'll need more time on the court, building up that endurance to avoid those late game mistakes. But hey, it's only his first game of the season and there's plenty of room to improve. Bronny wrapped up the night with six points, four assists, three rebounds, two steals, and a block. Although he went zero for four from beyond the arc, it's a stat line that mirrors his college performances where he averaged nearly the same. If he can work on that three-point shot, there's potential to elevate his game even more. Let's see what the future holds for him.